All right, Negative USB Volume 3, and I'd like to welcome you to the new place I moved to. It's still a huge mess, as you can see, but work on the Negative USB is going on. So um, I apologize for the lousy quality. This is a five-year-old cell phone, but I just wanted to shoot a few snippets to show you what has been going on lately. So stick around, would you? So first of all, let's take a look at the new prototype. And for the first time, this one has been made industrially. As you can see, it's a much nicer quality than anything we had before. And uh, most importantly, we have these new connectors, which are custom made, so they are of really nice quality. And uh, also we have here the support for gamepad connection. Okay, next on our list, we have the case of this Negato USB. As you can see, it's an aluminum profile and the PCD, PCB slides right in. And the profile is going to be covered by two metal plates on the front and at the back. And it's go going to feature two cutouts on top to accommodate the cartridge. Up next, we have gamepad support. So what I did is I took a multi-tab, unfolded the, the controller connectors, and folded them to the PCB of this nigger to USB. So now I can use the gamepad uh, to control the computer, and it will behave like a keyboard. Now the most important changes aren't even visible because they affect the firmware. And I just wanted to give you a brief example. So for instance, I insert a cartridge, and usually I would have to reset the device, but now all I have to do is hit F5 and refresh the directory content. And I'll get to see Donkey Kong Country at once. So it's, it has become really easy to operate. So you see, I'm doing the best I can to turn this into something really, really cool. And I'm looking forward to the day when I can finally ship the first unit. So if you think that this project deserves some support, go to the homepage now and pre-order your Snega to USB. See you soon.